Bingo! Hey there guys, Luigi Base 22 here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. Last time, I don't remember. I think we did Korok Seed Hunting, but I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, I wonder if this will work still. Yes, this episode is brought to you by Smash Bros. Link. The only reason I asked that is because, uh, uh, secret corruption error. You know what? I'll take this because I didn't get this last time. <laughs> I'll take it. Now I am truly the, well, I would say the hero of Twilight, but I'm wearing the tunic of the sky. Which apparently Twilight Link has a darker shade of green. Weird. Anyways, uh, the only reason I asked this is because, um, sound wasn't right when I recorded this. This is a re-recording. Um, I don't want to play dumb, but yeah, it, it's a re-recording. So anyways, uh, this episode, we're going to start by picking up some quests, um, you know, that are scattered around Zora's domain. Like, example... I would say you, but apparently I waited too long, so I might have to make this daytime in order to make some of this work, so... <laughs> Already, I have to transition. Hi. Yes, that that is... Me. I am Link. Where I've been all this time? Uh, I don't know. I have one asked that myself. Uh, yeah, they they got married. That that that's something. Apparently, all the young Zoras know Link, so that's the thing. Also, now that I realize, now that I mentioned that this is re-recording, I have to create backup plans in case things don't work out well, like how I wanted to. What is it? What is it? Oh, hey, mister. You've got a weird face. Well, that's just the rudest thing you can say about someone you just met. I'm a Hylian. Hi, Leon? Never met one of those before. If you're a Hylian, that means you came from really far away, right? You didn't happen to see my mom, May, on the way here, did you? Ever since the water monster went crazy, Mom hasn't come home. But, I mean, I bet she'll come home sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> so I'm catching frogs and selling them to earn money for our family. Just until Mom comes home. Frogging? Yep. Since Mom hasn't come back from fishing yet, I've been catching hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money for our family. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. You can find them easily on rainy days. <laughs> I really need to get some for me. Five frogs should be enough, got it? I think I have five frogs. Do I have five frogs? I would if I jump into the right page. I do. Hey, kid, wait. Stop moving. I have your frogs. Have some frogs. What? Really? Yeah, here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five! Wow! You really brought them! Here, take this as thanks! Hey, ar armor, 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 I can't say that. Armoranth. Why did I make this so difficult? This is called Armoranth. I picked it up because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. Hey, kid, thanks for the free material. I don't know if it's worth 10 frogs, but... You... Do you give me the quest? Yes, I am that Hylian that get, helped Prince Sidon. Oh, that's a, another rudest thing. I am just as handsome as your princely shark man. So about that song. I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, sure, I want to hear it. Okay, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veil false sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. I don't really get what that song's about, but I'm gonna sing it at the next champion festival. Mr. Trello was supposed to be get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget that his job? Ah. 
So, that's a shrine quest. Alright, so now that I change the time of day, I don't remember where everything is. Actually, there is one quest I need to pick up, and I think the guy is over here. It is! I mean, he is! Whoops, sorry. <laughs> they say Ruta has calmed down, and yet... Go on. Ah! It is you, Link. I am sorry. I was talking to myself. What's wrong? The truth is, my wife, May, left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast Valruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I stopped her from leaving. Oh, what do I do? I'll find her. Link, you saved Zora's domain and now you're going to help me find my May as well? You are a true champion. I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but please, please bring her home. Just saying this right now, those who played Breath of the Wild and, you know, picked up this quest will know the pain that I went through of this quest. Because it's stupid. <laughs> just everything about it is just stupid. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hope I didn't blow out your ears by saying, oh gosh, out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, so there should be like three more quests. <laughs> Bring more quests. Hello. Link, the Divine Beast has been appeased, but I fear there's still something that threatens the domain. What is it? There's a red ma main monster called a Lionel that lives on Polymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red main Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. So what do you say? Can you give me a picture of a Lionel? Yeah, I got it. I'm glad that was settled so quickly. See, there's this fool on, in the domain who goads people into jumping off the Shatterback Point on Polynomous Mountain. It's an incredibly dangerous jump, and this guy pressures people into jumping off by questioning their courage. He's a real bottom feeder. If this keeps up, someone's surely going to wind up horribly injured. I need a picture of a Lionel to show everyone how scary they are. That way, maybe people will stop going up there. Does that answer your question, Link? I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel so I can describe them in terrible detail. Thank you. I think I might have had this one already. The, the picture, I mean. Because I think I was planning ahead. It's been a while. Did I mention it's been a while since I last recorded this? Not counting the error that happened earlier that I'm still kind of peeved off about. But whatever. So yeah, I got a picture of a Lionel. Apparently. Apparently I was th thinking ahead. Oh! Link! How's that Lionel mission coming along? Apparently I already have it. Oh wow, please show me! Yeah, I'll show it to you on this magical tablet device. That everyone seems to question in existence. What? <coughs> My apologies, That's, that sound was not very dignified, was it? P pardon me, I I'm all better now. That Lionel? How terrifying. One look at this, and I doubt anyone would get any reckless ideas about visiting Polymus Mountain. Thank you. I'll tell the children in the domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. All right, now for your reward. Hey, Zora Greaves! We need this. These Zora Greaves were once made by the skilled craftsmen by, by order of an ancient Zora King. They're, now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in collaboration between Hylians and the Zora. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made, Zor we made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwind dwindled and my father had to close, up, close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves were here were the last pair left in stock room when he had to close up shop. Bearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. That said, these will be wasted on me. They're only useful for a Hylian, Hylian like you. Please take good care of them. Sweet. So yeah, if you thought the Zora armor was like the only thing in was like the only thing you could get, no, you can get Zora Greaves. There's a set. When we're missing the whatever helm, helmet, whatever the Zora, whatever. So like. These come with a set, and you may notice the little bar on the side with the wave icon. Yeah, that basically made us... Basically, wearing these two will uh, make us swim a bit faster than normal. Which is neat. 
so get, go go after the entire set, you nub. <laughs> Which is somewhere around here. I don't know where. Um, and then for this next one, I think I want to talk to you. Hey, buddy, you don't hate me anymore, right? Because I, I saved Azora's domain, right? You're old. You don't hate me, right? Link, it seems that I was wrong about you. Seeing Divine Beast Varuta's form there, even though we lost Lady Mifa, it seems that she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't I did not introduce myself sooner. I am G G Giato. Gelato. You're Gelato now. I'm a historian who studies Zora history and preserves it for future generations. Even so, this still monument that King Dorfin supposedly wrote, it's torn to pieces now. Most likely, the ten stone monuments outside the domain are in the same awful condition. I'm thinking about collecting the contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. But with these old legs and fins, traveling all to all ten stone monuments will take a great deal of time. That's why, Link, I'd like to ask a favor of you. I'd like you to find all ten stone monuments around Zora's domain and tell me what they say. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you! You truly are a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for those monuments for me. I have it on good authority that among stone monuments, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you happen to find that treasure, feel free to keep it. It most likely it will most likely be something that Zora wouldn't need. Yes, you'll find ten stone monuments around the Zora's domain. I believe in you. In fact, I'm counting on you. I wonder if I could do this now. Anyways, the, uh, this stone monument here actually gives off the hint of a treasure because, uh, you know, uh, there you go, the Zora Helm. <laughs> how, how convenient that we were just talking about sets and like there's a three set Zora armor and here's the last one. So it's talking about like the ruins north of something lake. Yeah, also Link's name was on there. Surprise. So, like, you only have, like, two options for lakes to where it could be Lulu Lake or Toto Lake. Which, by the way, it's not here. It's, I know where it is because I already... I'm done mentioning this. But I'm going to mark a treasure chest here. We might pick it up at the end of the episode. I don't know. It just depends on how fast and well we go through this episode. So, that's that. Hi. Uh, hey. Oh. Hylian, to think you were able to appease Ruta. You turned out to be a uh, pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you could do this too. Exterminate the Hinox by Rallus Pawn. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, in that case, give it a try. For he who has saved the domain, this should be a piece of fish cake. Go on, I'm counting on you. Okay, cool. Actually, technically, I read the... History of Zora's Domain? I wonder. Oh, if you can tell me where I've yet to investigate, so... <laughs> roll, roll the dice. He's a gambler. Northern Cliff of Orin Bridge. Uh, no, I got it. Oh, I only did, like, four. Oh. Oh. That, that was more than I thought. So I guess, he, because like, what is it? Let me show you the quest log and uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, when you click on the stone monument, they, <laughs> I mean, come on. This is this is a, gi a giant open world game that forces you to explore. Of course, they're not going to tell you where all of them are. But at least if you ever need help, you can always go back to Gelato. I know, it, I know it's not Gelato, but I'm still going to call him Gelato. <laughs> Stupid, I know, but... <laughs> It's my it's my playthrough, damn it. Uh, you can talk to Gelato here, and he'll tell you a location of one of them, if not more. He'll probably tell you multiple. So what? Uh, he says somewhere to the northern side of Oren Bridge. So that's something we're not. I'm not tackling this quest yet. This is something we'll do later, probably next episode. Probably not. I don't know. Let let me just say we're gonna be here in Zora's domain for a while, but for now. Um, that is all the quests I want to get here in, uh, Zora's Domain, I think. I might have missed one. 
But I basically took the same route that I took, um, from before. So, yeah, that's all of them that I can get for now. Let me... <laughs> I didn't want to break this pot, but I want to grab these. Which I can't carry anymore. Here, we'll destroy you because you're pointless to me. And then we'll drop... We'll drop you. Oh, hold on. I was middle of jumping, apparently. We'll drop you so I can get this silver shield. Alright, cool. So, let's make our way to Rallis Pond, which is somewhere over there. Oh, and let's talk to you. I knew you were the same Link from a hundred years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mifa's spirit live on with all of us. I'm telling you, you saved the entire Zora's domain and all of the old Zoras suddenly like you. What? Now then, I must devise a plan to find the Ceremonial Trident. Ceremonial Trident? Ceremonial Trident is used in the festival to honor Champion Mifa. The Champion's Festival Light Scale Trident, well, it's a fake. I plan to have that Ceremonial Trident examined by Dento, but on the way there, I dropped it off the bridge. Doesn't really matter. It's a fake after all. I'll have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. And that updates our quest, so... For the Ceremonial Song, which again... We're not tackling, and, and by, in, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have talked to that Zora, because we're not really doing that at the moment. But just know, I have a story with that, uh, with that quest too. There's story, we're getting into the fun part, where like, there's specific quests that I do not like, or I had trouble with, or that brought me pain to misery. <laughs> Your wife was to wait. <laughs> that I can't wait to talk about. And then I won't talk about it, because with my dumb memory, <laughs> I'll probably forget all about it. Because, fun fact, it's been a month since I last recorded this. So, like, I barely remembered what I what I recorded a month ago. And what's funnily, funny enough, right? What's funny enough, it won't even matter what I say, because this will go up literally a week after last episode, so... <laughs> uh, you see how recording super far in advance has its disadvantages at times. At times! Like, I, I bet. And I highly doubt it. By the time this comes out, maybe we'll finally get some information on the next Smash Brothers for the Switch. Because just saying, Smash on Switch, when? Yeah, hi. Hold on. I, I'm gonna have to pause the video right here, and I could just easily explain this with text, but, uh, I feel like this is better. You can tell how horribly dated this video was, because, hey, our, we already know about Smash. We already know when it's coming out. It's just you can tell when this is, this is so freaking dated, because this was recorded back in February. Yeah, February. And it's June. All right, back to normal video. Everyone's waiting for it. Just announce it already. We know it exists. It's, it's here. All right. So here we are in Rallis Pond. There's a Henox. Hey, Henox. I I would like to ask you a question. This joke would work better if it wasn't uh uh. A sword. I might want to equip some better equipment because this guy actually hits hard. Hi, how are you doing today? Mmm, I cornered myself into a rock. Hi, how are you today? Where am I? Why am I sneaking? What? Oh, jeez. Stop hitting right the left stick. So, I don't remember if this is the first time we fought a Henox. I honestly don't remember. But if it is, then, uh, this is, um, well, an overworld boss. They're everywhere. There are many different types of Henoxes. I think this is the blue Henox, so it's a bit more powerful than the red one. Anyways, gimmick is shoot it in the eye with the arrow, and then you do major damage to him. Not major damage, but it, it, he, he's vulnerable. He's super vulnerable. So, that's that. Also, be careful, because, like, uh, one good hit, and you're dead. 
Ha ha! Ah, I threw that sword in your face. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Uh, don't, don't, don't see target that. That's, that's stupid. It's not that it's stupid. It's just. Well, oh, no. Anyways, we beat up the Enox. That wasn't too bad. Hooray! Also, it's not the first time we fought him because apparently I found a Hinox tail before. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you drop? You drop this. I'll take the knight's sword. And yeah, there we go. Wow, that was incredibly easy. I was not expecting it to be this easy, but... Eh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, tireless frog. I accidentally collected a frog. All right, so uh, there's nothing else to do here in Rallis Pond, I don't think. So, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to warp and then I'll be right back. We're going to warp back to that person. All right, cool. Alrighty, so I switch back to <laughs> I switch back by the way to like Twilight Link's hat and Skyward Link's tunic. I'm like super partial to Twilight Link because <laughs> You know what they say your first Zelda game is your favorite Zelda game and I first played Twilight Princess so Yeah, oh so yeah, I did beat up that Hinox. What you really did? I just I can't Wow Thank you really I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is in a whole other league. Please, take this. Consider it a small token of my immense gratitude. Hey, silver rupees, I'll take. Guess you beat me to dealing with, the, with that Hinox. I really want to get stronger. It's okay. As long as you do sit-ups, push-ups, and drink plenty of juice, you too can be like me, the champion of Hyrule. Except you'll probably be the champion of Zora. Because reasons. Alright, whatever. We're doing this. The ceremonial song next. Um, I'm, there was a joke going there somewhere in there, but yeah. So, anyways, uh, if you remember what Trello said, which was like what five minutes ago or something like that. In fact, he's right here. You get to talk to him still, and he's he can give you the information again. Somewhere around here, there is the ceremonial trident. Somewhere. Uh, just drop faster. And, uh, you know, best best way to, to even find it is by Magnesis. Because, like, it's a metallic object. All weapons are metallic objects except for the wood weapons. So, like, you could easily find it. But you just need to, uh, basically find it somewhere. So, I have a story with this quest. Um, I picked this up pretty early on in my first playthrough. So, like, I was expecting it to find it somewhere. But, like, what I didn't know... In fact, I should probably turn on... Yeah, it's right there. What I did know is that it's directly under the bridge. I don't know if it was just me, um, you know, interpreting what the guy said was... I don't know if it was a mistake or not. But I thought it was somewhere in Zora's domain. Uh, I mean, like, not exactly in this location. I mean, like, he dropped it somewhere, and it could have, I don't know, drifted to, like, either down there or there or even elsewhere. But, so, like, I, I remember spending hours and, you I'm not gonna lie, days. Can I just grab it from here? No, I can't. Um, can I? I I'll just put it right here. But, yeah, I remember spending days and hours looking for this stupid ceremonial trident. Which I can't carry any more melee weapons because... Oh, for, bye! Which I can't carry... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm even distracting myself. So, like, I explored literally everywhere. Hopping around and, like, exploring every corner of Zora's domain. And I think... I don't remember if this is true or not. I even went so far to explore this area for... I don't know why I would have thought it would be down there, but I was just like, I'll just look in here and see if I can find it there. No, it was directly under the bridge the entire time, and I would, I felt stupid, like, getting it wrong after all that time. 
Anyways, we're just gonna swim back over here because, uh, well, we need to get back up to land to get to Veil Falls, and I don't think there's an easy way back up there other than climbing, which I don't want to climb. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I also remember looking in between uh, the archway here, thinking, oh, it could have just went ashore on one of the arches. Because uh, I think I remember right, and I don't, uh, one of the quests ha uh, has you find an item and it's just sitting on the shore the entire time. Either that, or I just picked up the, like, oh, weapons can be found on shore at times. Oh, boy. Good luck finding it. So anyways, uh, I did not mean to climb you. I actually wanted to glide my way over to this treasure chest because it's a treasure chest. I want to see what's inside. What's inside? Silver rupee. I'll take. Also, I want to take a picture of this. Don't ask me why, but there may be some point where I have to look for a specific treasure chest and I just want to have it right then and there. So I could put on the Sheikah sensor, just so I could drag it easy. Because you know DLC ma uh, not mass DLC items are hidden in chests, so it will be convenient. I'm just saying. All right, so we're gonna make our way to Vale Falls now, because that's that's where the uh, you know the, the ultimate quest for the shrine will be. So. I'm just gonna skip ahead till we get there, cause it's quite a walk, quite a ways from there. <laughs> Stupid burps. All right, here we are, <laughs> where we need to be. All right, so say hi to Veiled Falls. Hi, Veiled Falls. How are you doing today? I'm gonna swim up you. So here's the um, the pedestal where I have to, you know, do something with this shrine, because if you remember. Uh, the quest line here says a gift. It's basically the song is a hint. A gift from the sky, a, a scale of light, splits at the feet of the Veil Falls site. Your trial awaits its glowing bright. So, obviously, the ceremony trident is what we need. I'm pretty sure Mifa's trident will also work, but since it's kind of hard to come by, I wouldn't recommend using it. If, 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 if it's right, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what it works, but anyways, the uh, also fun fact, Ceremonial Trident can be used to make Mifa's Trident if you ever like lose it or break it. You just need a diamond in this and find someone who can make it. Anyways, short footnote aside, <laughs> I originally thought that all you needed to do was just place, to, like stand with the Trident out or just place the Trident in the water. Or even lift up the trident and, and just let watch it fall. No, that's not that's not how any of it works. And I think I remember this was one of the uh, the quests I have to look up because I was ultimately stumped. Uh, you know, after spending hours finding the stupid thing in the first place, you would think it would be easy, but no, observant me wasn't good. So what we were supposed to do. Is glide, well not glide, I say glide because it's easier. And just when you're above it, strike it down. You will, you might take some damage, by the way. And you'll also burn some durability on this thing. But hey, there you go. We unlock the shrine. Look at it, at his majestic beauty. And uh, I think this is one of those shrines that just basically has a treasure for you because technically this is like a puzzle that you need to solve in order to unlock the uh, shrine in the first place. So there's no inner puzzle, <laughs> inner puzzle. There's not another puzzle that you need to uh, need to unlock that that not unlock solve. Yep, it is one of those. It's one of those blessings. That That's what it's called. So I'll just take my probably rupees. It is rupees. And then we'll talk to this guy over here. Let me touch the eye and then get your orb. Yes. Oh, you have done well to solve this puzzle. Take this orb and get the f*** out of my house. 
Alrighty then. Now, normally I would just end off the episode right here because uh, looking at the time, we actually barely made it on time. But there's one last thing I want to pick up because I'm basically tracing my footsteps with this. Because again, as I said many times before, this is a re-recording of the entire episode, so I already have a plan and I know what to do, and I'm just basically covering my footsteps just in case. So where we're that was weird. Uh, where we're going next? We're heading towards Toto Lake because that is where I point out where the Zora Helm is. Yes, <laughs> that that is correct. All right, so I'm just gonna cut till like we reach over there because it's kind of ways over there, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me walk all the way over there. So we're just gonna randomly cut right here. All right, cool. We made it to the top. Ha! <laughs> I'm playing a dangerous game. I don't even know why I decided to climb that, but. Whatever. Restores my stamina and whatnot. So anyways. Welcome to Total Lake. Look at it. It's a bunch of ruined buildings. I'm pretty sure this lake wasn't here before. These ruined buildings have something to say about it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the pass works. So anyways. um, What we're looking for is a treasure chest. It's right here. <laughs> See, I know where it is the entire time. Ha ha! So, open this up. And we get the Zora Helm. Hooray! Now I have the entire Zora armor set. Look at me. I look just like a Zora. And because of that, my swim speed is now increased. In fact, fun fact, I think this is true or not. But if you basically equip yourself of all your weapons and shields and junk... I believe you get to swim a bit more faster. Yeah, you do. You, you basically swim faster. This is basically how the swim speed has improved. Look. Look how much faster Link is moving in the water. Now, you can upgrade the Zora armor set. I don't remember what materials you need to upgrade it, but basically when you upgraded it, when you upgrade this set, um... You basically get a second effect to it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll I'll visit the Great Fairy Spring at some point, and then uh, we'll when uh, the opportunity strikes, and then we'll uh, yeah, we'll basically do what I say, upgrade it and stuff. But yeah, that's a little interesting fact, I guess you want to call it about um, this game. If you basically equip Link of his weapons, he'll probably move faster in water. In fact, if you, another fun fact, if you strip Link with all his clothes, hi, you try to fail. You try to attack me and failed. Ha ha. I can't carry you. But yeah, yeah, if you take off all Link's clothes and his weapons, he'll swim faster in water either way. But I'm going to call this an episode. So if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. If you really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And don't mind me. I... I'm just grabbing this, grabbing this, and grabbing... I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, I was going to say, I know you're here somewhere. There you are. Grabbing you. And yeah, so on the next episode, we're going to do some more Zora quests. And we might explore a new area. Not this area. Because look, 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 there's death. That is literal death that is flying around. I don't want to deal with that. But we're going to explore them. Maybe a new area during one of the quests. Maybe. I don't know. But what I do know is I'll see you guys next time. Yay.